Hello, welcome back, Mrs. Louie Gamer. This is part two of Penzer Maiden. Uh, Penzer Maid Elves, I'm sorry. Uh, this is episode two. Last episode, we met M4 Sherman, T34, um, Tiger 1, Panzer 4, and IS 2, I believe. I think those were the tanks we met. And we met Gunnery Sergeant. Uh, long story short, Gunnery Sergeant gave me porn. Uh, M4 Sherman's a good girl. T34 is a bitch. IS 2 is a rapist, and you're going to find me in a ditch one day. Tiger 1's a bit of a klutz. And Panzer 4 is my bay right now. So, uh, yeah. Now, if it caught you up, uh, go see episode one if you haven't. That was just a short summary. Uh, yeah, let's get going. Gunnery Sergeant Hartman. So, in review, many large caliber rounds, AT or otherwise, may bounce against properly angled armor. Even the thinnest armor can bounce a high velocity round if the angle is severe enough. As I found out by bouncing a Hellcat with a uh, KV 4 in the World of Tanks. How the hell do you bounce off a Hellcat with a KV 4? Holy shit, that's annoying. As such, take care to present as little of your armor as possible. Avoid showing the enemy your broadside, and be extremely careful with penetration from the rear. Wow, an anal joke. Pfft, rear penetration sounds right up the gunny's alley, huh, Sherman? <laughs> so if I does have a thing for flanking maneuvers. Really? Because I have some personal intel that he prefers Amorax. Big Amorax. Oh, what should you refer? She grins teasingly. I'm not answering that question, Sherman. Lame. Recruit, what are you whispering about back there? Sir. Don't you serve me, maggot! Suddenly, you have an idea. This recruit has a question regarding penetration. Go on. This recruit is wondering whether or not the size of the bore affects penetration. Sure. Is it better to have a large bore or a long barrel with just the skill to aim well? Motherfucker. <laughs> All the windows. I love it. What the hell are you implying, recruit? This recruit is simply occurring as to how the sergeant prefers to penetrate tanks. Is it even possible with a smaller gun? <laughs> this is horrible. Oh shit, he's pissed. I would be too. Wait, how big is your boy? She whispers. Sherman, not now. You whisper back. Class, outside. We're having a practical drill in angling armor. Recruit Limmer here has graciously volunteered himself as his first target. <laughs> Sir. Don't you serve me, maggot, outside now or my boot goes so far up your ass it hits teeth. Holy shit. Alright, tanks. Which one of you is going to take the first shot at Recruit Limmer here? Sergeant, he can't angle his armor. Well, he best learn real quick, then. I volunteer, senpai. Well, if it isn't the bright America star herself. Front and center! Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. What type of round should I load, senpai? Toe the line, Sherman. Load HE. Hey, recruit. Angle your armor. Ow! Angle it! Degrees left, degrees right. Well, that depends on which direction she's shooting. If I angle 30 degree, degrees right, and she's to my right, she'll penetrate me much easier. If I angle 35 degrees left, and she's at my left, she'll penetrate me even easier. So it's really a 50-50 chance of going left. What the fuck am I kidding? I'm screwed. Who the fuck? Rounds ready, Sergeant. Take aim. Sherman, wait, please don't shoot me. You don't want to do this. Please, please, please. Come on, man. Angle. Here it comes. Shit! Fire! Woo! I'm dead, aren't I? I'm dead. I'm dead. Erwin? I, I just, I'm sure I'm dead. Erwin. God, is that you? God, am I dead? Unfortunately, you are not, recruit. <laughs> it seems the pinnacle of American engineering. Couldn't hit the broadside of a goddamn aircraft carrier. Holy shit, that takes skill. Tomorrow we will be having class in the field. You're dismissed, maggot. Missing the broadside of an aircraft carrier takes legitimate skill. That's not stupidity, that's skill. Uh, um, am I dead? No, mostly not, but you did take a beating. How did I get here? You need to take it easy, Erwin. I don't want you to get hurt. I'm all right then. 
I can't carry you home every time you go off getting yourself into such trouble. Me? I remember. No, 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 actually, what happened? Don't worry about it. Just try and get some sleep. She puts her hand on your head. Gosh, humans really can't take that much damage, can they? You weren't the one getting shot at. Shh, I know I heard. Oh, thanks for carrying me home, though. Oh, don't mention it. She blushes. I just wanted to make sure you're okay. I love Panzer IV. Uh, heroin? I, I wanted to ask you. <laughs> shit, shit, shit. Oh, thank God. Yo, new guy. I wanted to make sure you're all right. I melt. He's fine, Chairman. Well, I brought some snacks to cheer you up. She hands you a small bag of pretzels. Not a pretzel man myself, but, I mean, I eat it. It's a, it's a gift. I didn't pay for it. It was the thought that matters. I'd eat it. Um, these are expired, Chairman. Well, that changes shit. I said brought, not bought. You sly motherfucker. You bitch. I'm going to head home. Get some rest, Erwin. She seemed mad. Was it something I said? Uh, no, it's all right, Chairman. Anyway, thanks for checking on me. I think I was mostly just surprised by the shot. I feel fine now. Good, because tomorrow Sergeant's having us do some outdoor training. Outdoor thing. He wanted me to bring you the address. She hands you a slip of paper with lat long co coordinates. 3471 North, 14102 East. Yep, see you tomorrow, new guy. <coughs> uh -uh. The hell? The rumble of the train rolling along the tracks makes rhythmic patterns as you sit on the soft seats of the interior region, inner region express. This is a nice train. I've never been on a train, but this is nice. It's all empty. I'm the only one here. I have every seat to myself. You tap your foot on the, to the sound of the tracks. But um, but um. The soft sound has lulled you off to sleep more than once on this trip. I probably would do it to me too. He sure did pick the furthest place possible for a field op, didn't he? Suddenly, the train makes a turn and the warm summer sun casts its light through the windows. Ooh, that's beautiful. That is absolutely gorgeous. Whoa. The sea stretches out all the way to the horizon and the crystal blue water shimmers in the sunlight. That is absolutely gorgeous. Japan sure is beautiful. I wonder what he has in mind for us, though. This is probably going to be some god-awful Navy SEAL physical fitness thing. Here, Navy SEAL physical fitness is shit, like, not a lot of people make it through it. It's absolutely horrible. Only the best of the best get through. I might at least, I'm, at least I might pick up a higher score on my underwater knife fighting test this time. Underwater knife fighting test. Underwater knife fighting test. The hell? The train begins slowly slowing down as it approaches the station. When it stops, the doors open and you can smell the scent of sea salt on the wind. You get up and walk off the train. The town looks like it was built on the side of a large hill descending into the coast. That is absolutely gorgeous. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. All in all, it's a picturesque seaside town. Damn pretty place for a day of training. Well, I guess I'll head down to the beach and see what Gunny has in store for us. Ooh, nice music. You arrive on the beach a few minutes later and the deep blue water reflects the morning sunlight. As you approach, the rest of the tanks are already chatting in a group. Erwin, she sats and waves you over. Oh, so you made it. Bitch. Ah, uh, um, it's nice to see you, Erwin, she says shyly. Hey, everyone. Wait, where's Sherman? Probably late, as always. Oh, well, here comes the gunny. All right, maggots, after yesterday's catastrophe, you're going to work, you're going to sweat, you will know pain. And so, as punishment, you're all spending a day at the beach. No, my treads are going to get ruined in the sand. You don't have treads, you have feet. Uh, I don't think this is safe for my transmission, Sergeant. Are you talking about your legs, your knees? Are your knees your transmission? What is your transmission? You should have thought of that before blowing up the classroom. Holy shit, did she really do that? If I remember correctly, Sherman blew up the crest room after you ordered her to fire off range. I brought all of you out here to have a nice time, and honestly, I'm feeling really under attack right now. You're feeling under attack if you, after you made Sherman shoot me, you bastard. Quit being a little bitch about it, Sarge. Holy shit, T-3040, did you really just say that? Alright, alright, you can spend the day in town. Sergeant. 
Won't command be mad if we came all the way out here and don't do any training. God damn it, recruit. Fine, field craft then. Go on a scavenger hunt or something. A scavenger hunt? Kawaii! What do you expect us to go find? What do I look like your mother? Damn it, recruit. Fine, I'll write you each a list. My sergeant pulls out a notebook from his pocket and begins writing on a scavenger hunt list for each of you. Alright, split up into teams of two and go find shit. Don't finish before 16 o'clock. At least one of us is going to enjoy the beach today. Oh man. Who should I help on the scavenger hunt? Panzer 4, definitely. Please, Mouse. Hey, Panzer 4, do you want to do a scavenger hunt together? Of course. I'd love to go with you, Desu. Great. Whose list do you want to start with? Hmm, yours. <laughs> okay, let's see. You look down at your list and read it aloud. Chem light batteries, keys for a Humvee, and an ID-10T form. Keys for a Humvee? What the hell are chem light batteries? And why do I... I could just print that out. I just go to a print shop or something. What? Where do we find all of that? <coughs> right next right next to the rolls of flight line. <coughs> mm -hmm. I don't know where to find that either. You know what? Let's do your list first. Hi, hi. Right. Well, anyway, let's go. You and Panzer IV walk up a slight hill from the beach towards the town. So what's on your list then? Mm, looks like we need to find t we need tiny umbrellas, tequila, salt, a lime, sandals, and a yukata. Are we are, are we making the Sarge a damn uh, uh, margarita? And why are we get are we gonna have to steal someone's sandals? That's a hard day's work. Let's go, Irwin. Hard day for some people. Anyway, I bet we can snag some tiny bros from a convenience store. Let's go check. Ooh, that's a convenience store? Holy hell. That looks like a fancy thousand dollar gas station. That's really damn nice looking. You know what for walking to the convenience store and it's like, looks like any other in Japan. This looks like any other convenience store in Japan. Holy shit, America. Huh, funny. They use the same layout as the one in our town. Suddenly you hear a shout from another... Oh, excuse me. Suddenly you hear a shout from another part of the store. Hey, look who it is. Erwin with Panzer IV. What a surprise, she winks. Oh, Sherman. Erwin and I were just... Sherman walks up with a bottle of soda in her hand and takes another swig before wiping her mouth and cutting off Panzer IV mid-sentence. Chipper to see Erwin as usual. Hey, Panzer. <laughs> hi, hi. Didn't expect to find the two of you here, though. Where were you this morning? We were meeting on the beach. Uh, I was running a bit late, and then I got thirsty. I'm heading there now. Well, we're on a scavenger hunt now. Gunny's orders. Awesome. Can I come with you guys? Uh, I would, but I'm pretty sure Gunny wanted to see you. You should report to him first. Not like my cleaning duty days could go any higher. But you're probably right. Before I go, I saw this super cute cafe down the road. You two should totally take check it out. She elbows you in the side. <laughs> All right, later. Uh, sorry about that, Panzer. Oh, no worry at all. I don't mind. Huh. Anyway, I found the umbrellas. Let's go. Let's check out that cafe. Mm-hmm. I really like Panzer IV. My favorite right now. She's my favorite. You and Panzer IV enter the cafe together. She's very attractive. Uh, extremely attractive. Oh, this place is so, so kawaii. I just love the American theme. Aren't you from there, Irwin? This is an American theme? Okay. Yeah, although my grandfather's from Germany. Ah, oh, the fatherland, the people, the food, the Fuhrer. Bitch, you're talking about Hitler? Yeah, wait, what? Oh, I meant free hit. freedom, yeah? Ja? Right. You meant Hitler. You got the hots for Hitler, don't you? Yes, I do support the right. Why do you ask? You, you know, why don't we just order some coffee? Sounds wonderbar. All right, let's see. I'll get a green tea, please. And what will you have there, little lady? I'll have a peppermint tea with lemon. Well, she sure is a character. You and Panzer IV take a seat at a small table and wait for your drinks to be done. All right, kids, here you are. He sets the tea in front of you both and returns to the counter. A few minutes later. That was good. 
tastes just like it does back home. I've never been to Germany before. Oh my gosh, you'll have to come with me when school lets out. It would be so much fun. <laughs> Maybe I will. You'll have to show me around when I'm there, though. <laughs> you mean like a date? Well, uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm sure we can find the rest, of our, the rest of the stuff on your list if we look around town some more. You ready to go? Yeah, let's go. She sounds excited. Yeah, let's go. <clears throat> A short while later. Alright, so we found the little umbrellas, salt, and a line. What's left? Sandals, a yukata, and tequila. Sarge can worry about that last part. For now, let's see if we can find that yukata. I mean, it's Japan. There has to be a place around here that sells them. Of course, maybe I can find a new one to add to my collection. I just love kawaii fashion, fashion desu. I can tell. And it's mildly concerning. <laughs> I had a question, by the way. Sure, Erwin. What did you want to know about? Hmm. Gunny. Tell me more about the gunny. Like I told you, school. He's just, he's really just a big teddy bear underneath that tough guy act he puts on. He's a great senpai, too. If he's your teacher, shouldn't you be calling him sensei? Huh? Never mind. <laughs> anyway. Hey, Panzer. It's a clothing store. I figured we would find one eventually. Let's go inside and see what we can find. Yeah. You enter the store and clothesline all of all of the aisles. In the back, you can see some more traditional Japanese garments. And by the register, there are plenty of different choices for swimwear. Man, I thought there's so many different kinds of clothes in here. Uh, let's see. I have that one, that one, that one. She keeps going on, and on, and on. Wow, you weren't kidding when you said your collection. I can't help it, you caught us at your Soko eye. No doubt. Ooh, Erwin, they have swimsuits, let's go look. Yeah, sure, why not? You both walk in the swim mark section. You know, I think this balloon would look great on you. <laughs> oh, Erwin, you're such a flirt. You just want to see me without, on a, on a, without armored skirts. Well, I can't ex exactly deny that. <laughs> it does look really nice, though. How about I try it on, then? I need a swimsuit anyway. I'll be right back. After a few moments, she comes back wearing the new bikini. Holy shit. So what do you think? Hot damn. Hot damn is right. Hot damn. Did I see you in that movie, Machon in uniform? <laughs> is that an armor penetrating Sabo in your pocket? Or is it really that good? Armor penetrating Sabo. Armor penet. Okay. Oh shit. Sorry. <laughs> no worries. Just don't suffer a negligent discharge while I buy this. There's a lot of innuendos in this game. And I love it. <laughs> she giggles before scampering off to change back into her school uniform. Dang, school ain't bad. Ain't bad at all. Hell no, it's not. Anyway, let's head back to the beach. Gunny can figure out his clothing and alcohol needs on his own. I agree. <laughs> yeah, let's meet up with the others. Fans are four pays for your swimsuit, and you head back to the beach together. <sighs> Looks like we've made it back to the beach before anyone else. Man, what a day. I had such a great time spending the day with you, Erwin. Save for me. You're pretty fun to hang out with. <laughs> You're making me blush. You're so sweet. Ah, oh, well, don't mention it. After a couple of minutes, the rest of the tanks begin arriving back at the beach, and Gunny begins approaching from his beach chair in the distance. As he gets nearer, all the tanks begin to laugh. Once he is close enough for you to make out his face clearly, you break out in laughter. Something funny, recruit! Yes, you are very burnt. Why are your eyes not... Oh, you had sunglasses, didn't you? There's a thin line on top of your nose. You're very red, sir. <laughs> no, sorry, Mr. Chris. <laughs> I was just wondering how the sergeant... <sighs> Enjoy this day at the beach. Perfectly well, recruit. Now, you all have the rest of the evening off, but you better be in class on time come tomorrow. That means you, Sherman. Hi, senpai. There's a fireworks festival happening tonight, and the last thing I want to hear is the sound of explosions in the night. Get your shit together, and I will see you tomorrow, tanks, and recruit. The tanks all begin splitting off to go back into town, and Panzer Four stays to talk back to talk with the gunny. Once she's done, you walk up to her. 
Pam, Panzer IV. I was wondering if maybe you'd like to go see those fireworks together. Uh, you want to go see fireworks with me? Hell yes, I would. Uh, yes. It's just like an anime! Holy shit! Alright. Let's go! She smiles at you. <laughs> After a good 30 minutes hike up the hill, you start nearing the summit. Fenzifor has been talking with you the whole way, and it's obvious that she blushes, blushes every time you look at her. A few minutes later, you crest the top of the hill. Do you think this is the place? I don't know. Maybe? I don't see anything yet. Oh, it's pretty dark already. That should be starting soon. I can't wait. Fireworks always remind me of artillery shelling. So pleasant when it's not landing on your own cities. Artillery shelling? Is pleasant? Okay. Huh, right. Fireworks always remind me of my father. Oh, how so? Well, when I was really little, he, he would take me to watch them together at the 4th of July. Oh, that's sweet. Huh, yeah, we'd be out on this big metal near my house and you could hear the cicadas in the tree line nearby. I was pretty young though, so when the first firework of the night went off, I'd get scared and hold my hand, father's hand real tight. Oh, that's so adorable. Do you still stay in touch? With your father, I mean. Oh, no. He died when I was pretty young, fighting against the plain girls. What? What? Plain girls? What? Is that a, a sequel to this game? I hope to God that is a sequel, because I have a friend who would love that. Oh, Erwin, I'm really sorry. It's okay, it happened a long time ago. I mean, I sh no, I shouldn't begrudge them, but I've hated flying ever since. Well, if you ever need to talk about it, I'm here for you. She takes your hand. Thanks, Fancer. I know I really should. Oh, Jesus. Fuck. Ah! Erwin, don't squeeze my hands so tight. She giggles. Maybe I, I got spoopied. It was so spoopy. Alright, that spooked me big time. No, oh, is there Erwin afraid of the big old, big mean old fire? Ah, she squeezes your hand with the force of a medium thing. So basically, she took my hand off. My hand no longer exists. It's been compressed that much. Ow, ow, ow. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I'm fine. You're pretty strong, then I guess she smiles at you. The fireworks are, really are pretty, though. <clears throat> yeah, it's nice being here with you. Oh, Erwin, you're so sweet for this. And you know, helping me on that scavenger hunt today. I was so lost. Keen problem, Sean's model. Subgerman, our god of impressor. Panzer IV starts giggling. Oh, Erwin, it's Madel, but thank you anyway. <laughs> right. Well, you're really sweet, too. Y you mean that? Oh, shit. Of course. Well, hi. Hi. She leans in closer to you. Erwin, I was wondering if maybe I could kid. Ah, oh, Rain! My tracks are gonna get stuck in the mud up here. Oh, let's get you inside, then. Here, take my hand. Let's get back into town. Okay. She takes your hand and you both start heading down the mountain. <coughs> Damn it! I've been cock blocked by Sherman. I've been cock blocked by nature. After a good 15 minutes of walking, you reach a train station. Oh, thank God. Well, at least I didn't get too wet. <laughs> yeah. It's pouring! It's just literally pouring and you've been walking for 15 minutes. How are you not wet? Uh, my train is pulling in, it looks like. Um, so I guess I'll see you tomorrow? You bet. Let's do this again sometime. Without the rain, though. She smiles at you before getting on her train. Bye, Erwin. She shouts at the, as the train doors close. I love Fencer 4. Fencer 4 is awesome. I should probably be getting home, too. Fencer 4 is so awesome. She's so kawaii and cute. I love her. After a long train ride home, you finally reach your station. The walk home is short, but after a long day, each step feels like a mile. Finally, you reach your apartment. The room is dark, and the moonlight casts shadows on the wall. You sit down on the bed, and lay your head on the pillow. Shoes and everything still on. Oh, rest. Oh, what the hell? That didn't feel like sleep. At all. God, at least I'm already dressed. That's nasty.
As you rush down the hallway towards the classroom, you begin muttering to yourself, Man, I overslept. Damn it, I'm gonna get chewed out again. Stupid long-ass train ride home last night. Suddenly, Sherman pokes her head out from one of the doors behind you and shouts, Hey, new guy! You turn around to face her. Over here. Sherman, what are you doing in that classroom? We're both ladies, hell. Come on, Herwin, get in here. She waves you in. Oh, uh, well, it's one of those sort of things, eh? My lucky day. As you enter the classroom, you can see all the tanks in their seats and the gun is standing at the front. Wait, if Recruit and Limmer here... Well, if Recruit and Limmer here would like to join us... We could start! Sergeant and I. Recruit Limmer, I swear you couldn't navigate your way out of a map store. Well, that's really damn good. I'm gonna have to use that one day. That's really damn good. This recruit didn't know the, the classroom had been moved. You couldn't have guessed when you saw the old one was still smoking up, still a smoking hole. No one informed me this recruit would have to change, drill sergeant. Thanks, you will give this maggot your phone number so that he may bother you instead of wasting my precious time, he sighs. Hey, senpai, here's my number. Erwin, send me a text so I can add you. Ah, uh, sure. You send her a quick, it's Erwin message. Awesome, I added you to our group chat. Wait, what? Oh. Bzzz. Sherman, I don't. No, fuck! The, be the, the world's best timing, it was my phone. That was my mom. My mom. Wants to be in the... God damn it, Sherman. You piece of shit. Sergeant, why do I have to give him my number? You're a commie tank, recruit 34. Aren't you supposed to love sharing? <laughs> That's fucked up. That's really fucked up, my man. Sika. All right, here, Erwin. Um, thank you. I promise I won't misuse it. You better not. I got to touch it with phone lines. You never know who is listening in. Right? You too, recruit tiger. Uh, um, Sergeant, should Erwin give me his number too? If that makes it go faster. Recruit Limor, give Tiger your number. Is there anything he doesn't scream about? Here, Tiger, I am at 95. Six, He's in Louisiana? What? Yes, she whispers softly. <laughs> Alright, so I guess I need... Your number two, Panzer IV. <laughs> Sonder, Kraft, Harzig... Panzer Camp, Wagon 4, F. Recruit 4, your phone number, not your designation. Alright, here you go, Erwin. What the fuck was that first part? I have never heard a, sh uh, a Panzer 4 be called any of that first part. I have never heard that before. Huh, great. I'll call you if I have any questions. Very good, recruits. The more I expect you to be on time and prepared for everything for this moment forward. You are very lucky I had a relaxing day yesterday. So I'll spare your ass just this once. My mom. However, you will be providing each and every one of your classmates with ten knee bends each now. The fuck? A knee bend? What? Damn. Blitzkrieg 101? A few hours later... Uh, oh, man, that was a killer test. Oh, Jesus! You're a scary motherfucker. Where did you go? Erwin! Oh, what, what? Don't pop out of nowhere like that. Erwin, I have a question for you. Um, sure, go ahead. Well, Tilverish, you must think long and hard about this coming question. It's a matter of state security. State security? Da. Do not be of the worrying. Do not be of the worrying. She's gonna fucking kill me. Look at her eyes. Question is easy in and of the self. Answer not so much. Thanks for clarifying. Now I ask a question. Are you prepared? Yeah, sure. All right. What did you get on question 42? I, I don't remember I asked you. Don't withhold information from me. Hoarding information, that is the way of the capitalists. Sorry, to pigs. They steal information from the people, use it to their own gains. Stealing is not the Soviet way, comrade. I'm not hoarding, stealing, anything. I just don't remember. We have ways to make people remember. 
Did I not tell you she was a psychopathic rapist murderer? Uh, fine, it's... God, what the hell? The Treaty of Versailles. Da, very good. I got the same answer. Alright, well. Have a nice day, comrade. Ah, uh, wanted a nut. I'm going home. Finally, I'm home. Oh man, tomorrow is Saturday too. I can't wait. God, I have the entire day to myself. All for... <sighs> Morning. This is going to be awesome. That's very different from your normal self. No tanks. No gunning. No weird shit. There are so many things I can accomplish. I'm going to open the curtains and greet the day. Hello, son. Oh, what to do today? Mm. This is depressing. <laughs> Shit! That's it. I'm calling someone. That was absolutely horrible. Uh, what do I call though? Pens are far. Ah, uh, well, there goes nothing. You pick up the phone and dial her number. What Japanese person in the modern day and age uses a fucking rotary phone? Why? Before the first ring suck can finish, you hear her pick up the phone. Mushy mushy. Mushy mush. Uh, hello, it's Erwin. Erwin? Uh, this is so embarrassing. I'm right in the middle of my favorite anime. Oh, sorry, I can call back later if you want. I was just going to ask if you wanted to hang out. You can hear the phone fall off her hand and hit the floor. The line goes dead as the phone cracks silent. I guess that's a no. You sit back down on your bed. Well, that's a bummer. Shit, I hope I didn't... I hope I didn't really make her mad. You hear a knock at the door. What the hell? As you open the door, you see who it is. Pads are four, bursts into the room panting. Uh -huh, let me catch my breath. I drove here as fast as I could. What are you doing? You asked me on a date, remember? She pants. Well, yeah, but I didn't. I didn't mean this minute. Oh, what the hell? Sure. Wait. Why did you throw the phone then? I, I got a little excited and dropped it. She blushes, blushes and catches her breath. Well, where do you want to go? Heads her voice, eyes light up. My friends told me about the Super Segoy Cafe nearby. Oh, Sherman and Tiger have been there. No, not them. Oh, I didn't know you had other friends. Who are they? Well, they're online friends. Oh, that's cool. Where did you meet them? Uh, face novel. Ah, face novel. Facebook? Face novel. And what's this place they recommended? It's called Café Alamade. It's French. That's not French. Sure it is. It's been owned by the same family for seven generations. Made isn't even a French word. Well, duh, it's made because the guys who run it are made men. That's really not helping your case for this beginning being a French restaurant in the slightest. Did you really even meet these people on Face Novel? Well, I mean, not all of them. You met them somewhere else. Well, there's this really awesome website that I go on. You can post images, respond like a bulletin board, and there's even a board for politics. Have you ever been on... Nope, stop right there. I don't want to hear any more. Anyway, it's late now. How about I meet you there tomorrow? Hi, hi. She grins before leaving. Well, this is sure going to be interesting. You fall asleep, and night passes quickly before you are rudely awakened by... <laughs> well, I think this is going to be a good time to end it. Uh, we've gone through a couple more days, uh, 34 minutes long. I am going to end it here. Look out for the next episode, and... Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. I will be doing uh, the next episode very soon. Uh, don't forget to watch it. Uh, have a good day. I will see you later. Goodbye.